come back to China. Let's look at what calculation of what ASGAM is. We are talking about calculation involving the pH, pOH, and OH minus of what of a strong acid and what and a strong base. Like if you look at the question on the board, it says that if the concentration of what H to SO4 is 0 0.215 molarity, calculate the following concentration of H plus hydrogen ion, which called proton, concentration of OH minus pH, pH of solution, or pOH of the solution. So add this solve this problem. I'm going to give you a rough background on how you can actually tackle this problem. Now, before you can tackle this problem here, yeah, what you want to understand here is that is this one a strong acid or a strong or, or a weak acid? Now, is a strong acid, do you get that? And a strong acid dissociates completely in what in water. Do you get that? Now, because it dissociates completely in water, there's not like what Ka. The same with base. If for example, here we have NaOH, which calls sodium hydroxide. Sodium hydroxide is a strong base, so it dissociates completely in water to form. OH minus. Do you get that? So we don't have a call KB that one here. So whenever a question is being given to you on our pH or as a base, therefore you have to understand if it is a strong acid or a strong base. Now the approach uh, the approach of how you solve a strong acid and strong base actually what difference. So because we have a strong acid here, the first one to do here, let's understand the various formula you can use to tackle this problem here. So here we have First one that you, you have yes, pH plus what? Minus log what? H plus concentration of what? H plus. I right did. So that is pH of the solution equals to minus log H plus concentration. Do you get that? They also have what? POH equals to minus log concentration of OH what? Minus. Do you see that? Then we have pH plus POH equals to what? 14. Right? Then we also have we call concentration of H plus times concentration of OH what minus goes to what 1.0 exponential minus what 14. So these are the various formulas you can use in calculating these questions. So what you want to do here is what make sure you write this down because this is what I also so want to teach you how you can use this one, two, three, four formulas to calculate what this question here. Do you understand? So So when you have a question like this, first first, you want to what write the what dissociation or like the ionic equation, do you get that of this acid here? So if you look at acid here, H2XO4. Then, so it be divided to what? H plus plus what XO4 to minus, right? Now and as you want this point, what a proton. So the next thing you want to do here is so what write out a balanced chemical equation. How many ideas do you have here? You have one hydrogen. How many I see here? Here we have what more. So you have to work put to here. Do, do you understand? Now, the first now what I want to understand here is that they gave us the constitution of what H H SO4. So constitution of what H to XO4 was given to me as what? As 0 0.215. 0 0.215 what molarity. Now from this place now, I can even get what my concentration of what of the acid of what? So I can even get what my question of what of the proton. Do you understand? Now this guy is two types of soda one here. Because if you check the balance question, here is three years one. So it's going to be two times the question of this guy, 0 0.215 molarity. So we put it there. So we have a calculator and here we have two times 0 0.215. So here is going to be. 0 0.43 watts molarity. Can you see that? So the next one to do here, so you have calculated what the first one. You understand? Now the next one to do here, you can easily what get your what your OH minus. Just just that. Can you get what your OH what minus? There are different approaches you can use to what get your OH minus. Now, how do you get your OH minus from this one here? It's very easy. It's what? It's very easy. So yeah, that is what. H plus OH minus equals to what? 1.0 exponential minus what? 14. Can you see that? So if you make sure you solve a formula here, here we have what? OH minus equals to what? 1.0 exponential minus 14. We have what? Constitute of H plus, right? 
So what I want to do here is what uh, increase your value of h plus, which was 0 to 40. So you're going to be 1 plus 0 is on h of minus 14 over what's uh, 0 0.43. So you push your, you push your calculator on here. So you have uh, 1 plus 0 exponential minus 14 divided by what? 0 0.43. So you're going to be what? 2.3. 326 exponential what minus 14. That is the what answer for what OH what minus. Now remember, we have done for this level here, right? This is what this simple formula here. The next one to do is to work out the pH. How do you calculate the pH? It's very easy. So why is place at right? Why is place at here? Remember, pH is equals to what? pH is equals to what? Minus log what? Consider of H plus, right? So remember, all H plus is what? Uh, 0 to 4, 3, right? So it will be pH equals to minus log uh, 0 to 4, 3, right? Do, do you understand? So what not to do? So use your calculator. So it will be uh, minus log, right? Minus log is, 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 is the calculator. Minus log 0 0.43. So it will be 0, 0 0.367, right? That is that what for my what pH. You understand? So I add a calculate what for my pOH. My pOH, I can use two formulas calculate pOH here. It's okay. I can either use pH plus pOH. It's okay, equals to 14. Do you understand? Where my pH is equal to what? My pH is equal to 0 0.367, right? Do you understand? So it's going to be pOH equals to what? P14 minus what? P pOH. So pH is okay. So you go to be what? Uh, 14 minus 0 0.367, right? So the way it starts. So here we have 14 minus 0 dot 27. Here we have 13.633. It's okay. So that way I, I use what this formula here. Can you see that? Now what about if I should use POH equals to minus log OH minus, right? Remember, I've already calculated this one to be what 3, 2 dot 3. Remember, OH minus. Which I've already calculated is what 2.326 exponential minus 14, right? If I should do that, what am I going to get? Am I going to get the same answer with this one? Let's confirm. POH equals to minus log. Here we have 2.326 exponential minus 14. It's okay. What will be the answer? Let, let's see it. Minus log 2.326 exponential minus 14. Here we are. Yes, you get what the same answer. Thirteen dot six three three. You got the same answer. You can see that. So when I get to what P P O H here, you can either use this one or you can what use this one here. So this is just a simple method you can use to solve this type of what problem. Now I want to reverse the stuff here, right? Imagine I have something like this. Imagine I have. Yeah, you might have uh, uh, calcium hydroxide. How am I going to solve this thing here? So you go ahead and try this one for me. So this is just like a try. This is just like, like what you try. You try. Go ahead and try this one for me and solve it. This one, this, this one is a base. I've solved for you for you for the acid. This is the base. So I want you to try and see how you can also solve it. I have done a complete video where it comes to acid and base because you need to understand what you call conjugate base and conjugate acid. Then you need to know how to satisfy them. Do you get that? So I've done a complete video on that. So you can pause the video and solve this one here. Then go ahead and watch this video. The complete acid and base, which I've done a complete video. Do you get that? I will see you there.